trumpet players, here we are. We're going to start making our first sounds on our trumpet mouthpiece. Now, I know we're all very excited to play the whole instrument, and we are going to get to that very soon, but the very first most important thing we need to do is learn how to master this. Um, this is where all the sound for the trumpet happens. The other, the, the whole trumpet, when we move those vowels we talked about, that will help us change notes and make it louder for us. But this mouthpiece, everything starts here and starts here with our lips. So let's just get right into it. The way we make our first sounds is we always have to make sure we wet our lips first. Very simple. You don't have to go get a go to a sink or anything, just quickly like this, and they're pretty good. And I do that a lot while I'm playing the trumpet. So I make that, wet my lips, and as we progress with the trumpet, we're going to learn different ways to do this in more precise, specific ways. But for right now, I want you to think the letter P. If I wet my lips and I bring them together and I make this sound, almost like we're trying to spit something out of our mouth, like maybe a watermelon seed or get a little fuzzy in our mouth. If we make that sound, that's the beginning of the trumpet sound. I bring the mouthpiece up to my mouth, like this. So first my lips, I'm just going to take a breath, and they're going to just press them together. I bring the mouthpiece up, maybe it's from this angle, and I'm going to press it like I can feel my teeth behind my lips. And I'm using some pressure, I'm really pushing it there. Okay. Then I make that sound. Combine all that together and I'll get this. Ah. That's the sound. That's our very first sound. If you can make that, ah. Ah. that's the beginning of it. Now to make it better and to start actually playing music, we want to push that air a long time through the mouthpiece like this. I make my first sound, ah. but then I'm going to keep the air going. And I don't know if you noticed, right before I pushed that sound out, I took a breath. I went like this. Now you may have noticed just then that my sound kept changing. I was playing higher and lower notes. Well, that's your lips, okay? It's when we tighten up and we change the position of our lips and we're going to talk about all those things. So right now we're we're experimenting. We're trying to get a feel for how to make this sound. Wet our lips. You'll hear me say that a lot. <laughs> Wet our lips. Bring the mouthpiece up. Make the sound. Push the air longer. And now we're making the sound. Now you might get this sound out. You have to try and make you a bit of a trumpet detective. You might get this sound out. If you get that, that means your lips are too loose. We want to take our lips and we want them to actually be touching. We don't want to squeeze them super, super tight, but we don't want them apart either. Our lips are touching. Okay? So if you get this sound, they're touching, but they're probably too loose. You might have gotten this sound. Your lips were too tight and you were squeezing too hard. So if you hear either of those too tight, too loose, you know you need to change. Our lips, we're gonna bring our lips together. You notice I did a little different this time. I kind of formed what I call our trumpet lips. That way we can make our P sound. Push the air. So I've repeated that a few times now. Now let me give you some activities. Activity number one will be to ask somebody at home to pick a number from one to 10. And let's say that person picks two for you. We're gonna make two sounds like this. Maybe they pick the number five. 
you'll do this. I'm changing the notes so you can hear that the notes can be changed. If you're feeling adventurous, ask someone to pick maybe a number between 1 and 15 or 1 and 20 and try to make that many sounds. The next um, activity you can do would just to be simply see how long you can hold a note. So let's see how long I hold my note for. I'm going to take my breath, I make my lips, I make the P sound. So I got up to count five. Maybe you can only get to four. Maybe you got to number 10. It doesn't matter. Whatever you do today, tomorrow when you practice your long note, try to hold it for one count longer. So right now I'm gonna go for six. Great, I accomplished one more. And we're gonna keep upping that until you can do a really long note. In class, we may have long note contests. All right, so look, look for that. Another activity we can do, and I call this the one, two, three activity. And it's sort of like the, the first one I mentioned, but a little different. On our own, we're gonna play one note. Then we'll play two notes. Then we'll play three notes. Then we'll play four notes. And we do that all the way up to 10, and then we do it all the way backwards to one. If you really work on that one, you'll be playing a lot of notes and you'll start being ready to play the whole trumpet. The last exercise, and maybe the trickiest, is called the, the fire engine sound. So we wanna try and go from a low note to a high note. There's a lot of explanation needed for this one. Um, we're kind of making our lips loose. Then we have to make them tight. And we get a high note. When we combine the two of those, we get a sound like this. That takes time to develop that. Okay, so, um, and there's, like I said, there's a lot of explanation and we'll keep working that over future lessons, um, but that's something you could try right now and just see if you can experiment with it. If it doesn't work for you at, right away, that is totally fine. So we have our pick a number from one to 10. We have our long note that we can play. We can do our one, two, three activity, one note, two notes, three notes, and we can do our fire engine sound. And let me do the fire engine sound for you one more time. So, if you work on those four activities, you're going to really start making a very nice trumpet sound, and then we'll be ready for when we put the whole thing together. Okay? Good luck, everyone. See you next time.